Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the 25 Days of Linux. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, BSPWM. I'm pretty excited about this one. First of all, we need whiskey. This is the uh, Elijah Craig small batch, uh, very reliably good bourbon, which I had to go and pick up today because uh, all I had left was scotch. So uh, BSPWM, much like the awesome window manager, which I'm using right here is, well, a window manager, but it does function quite a bit differently than awesome window manager and DWM and a lot of the other window managers that I've used in the past in that uh, it's sort of a manual tiling window manager. I just noticed that I did a terrible job, and by terrible job, I mean I totally didn't explain at all uh, what the difference between uh, BSPWM and Awesome are, or what the difference is between like an automatic tiling window manager and a manual tiling window manager the way the BSPWM is. And the reason for that is because really just using the window manager most of the time, you won't notice. If I just open up a whole bunch of terminals here, BSPWM automatically puts them where I want them to. And like Awesome, I can sort of rearrange the terminals if I want to, let's say, open up Fetch here so that I can keep track of this terminal. I can move it around to different places and stuff like that. I accidentally just grabbed the OBS window and moved it. That's handy. But what makes uh, something like BSBWM special is if I were to do, I think I could do like control super and then Vim keys. I can sort of select where I want the next window to open and I can do it again. I can, uh, let's say move it. We want this one to open up here, uh, you know, and then, hey, I want to open up another one here. I can sort of just create whatever sort of layout I want to have because I'm manually deciding where I want to open every single window. Two great things about BSPWM. One, it functions differently, so I'm inherently interested in it. And two, it is incredibly minimal, which is great. Awesome is a great window manager, but uh, it also comes with most of the stuff that you need to use it built in. It has notifications all set up for you, key bindings all set up for you, has a pretty solid config out of the box, it even has ways to set the wallpaper for you built into the box. It has an answer for a lot of stuff that maybe you don't want an answer for. So I, I don't know. We'll stop screwing around here. I'm pretty excited to get into this. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is just install BSPWM. Good news there. It's uh, super well known, super familiar. So it should be in just about any package manager you want to use. Uh, in our case, it's going to be sudo pacman s BSPWM. And there we go. You can see how long it took to install. Like I said, it is quite minimal. And there's a couple of other things that you're going to need for BSPWM. One of which is a lot of people like to have a bar a set up. It's not strictly speaking necessary, but it helps. And luckily for me, I'm probably the biggest fan Polybar has ever had. Uh, so I have Polybar downloaded, I have a config all set up. I could in theory go into my Polybar config and make a custom script, but I'll probably just run this awesome script to begin with. If you need help setting up Polybar, I've got a ton of videos about it. I'll link a playlist, but that's the first thing you need. Now you might also want a way to set wallpapers. There's a few different apps you could do to uh, install that. If you're looking for like a simple little GUI app, uh, you can do sudo pacman s nitrogen that's a really good one very easy to figure out simply super easy to use my personal favorite is one called fey it's more of a command line approach to it and it's also a pretty decent little image viewer so that's typically what i would grab but again already got those set up the one thing that you absolutely will need because it is a window manager and you do control it with the keyboard is a way to handle keyboard shortcuts. BSPWM does not come with its own way to deal with keyboard input. Or I mean, it doesn't come with its own keyboard shortcut daemon that sits and waits for keyboard shortcuts. Basically, everyone I've ever seen install BSPWM, every guide I've ever seen, every anything uses a program called SXHKD, which is just a simple hotkey daemon for X. So you can do sudo pacman dash s s x h k d. All right, and then once we have x s x h k d installed, that's ridiculously hard to say. Uh, we should just need to uh, link up some config. So in my particular case, uh, I already have a polybar config all set up. So we'll just need to pull down a config for BSPWM itself and also for um, oh god s x h k d. <laughs> Uh, so actually all of these are going to be in the config folder, which is just, you know, home slash dot config. And uh, then what we should be able to do is make a directory called BSPWM and make another directory SXHKD. We can copy from slash user share docs 
And if we go into this BSPWM folder, there's a folder called examples. And if I hit tab here, you can see the files in there. There is a sample BSPWMRC, which is what we're really after. But importantly, there's also a sample SXHKDRC, which is going to include all the key bindings that we need to work with BSPWM automatically already out of the box set up ready to go so we're going to pull the bspwmrc and we're going to want to put it into the bspwm folder and then we're going to run that same command again but we're going to pull the sxh sxhkdrc and put it into the sxhkd folder I, I guess what we should do in theory is use a text editor i'm going to use vim and go into config sxhkd and into that config file and uh, really what we're gonna wanna look for is where it's launching a terminal, which, oh, it's right up here at the top. That seems really important. Uh, we're gonna wanna make sure that it's able to launch a terminal that we actually have installed. So I'll change this to Alacrity or Kitty or something. Oh, we'll do Kitty, why not? And it also already has a D menu keyboard shortcut already set up too. So as long as those two things are ready to go, you can pretty easily work your way around a window manager. Maybe it won't be a super clean setup and maybe it won't work as smoothly as you could, but as long as you can get a terminal open, you can make changes to the configs when you need to. And as long as you have some sort of application launcher, you can really easily launch app. You don't even really need the application launcher. You can launch every app in the terminal, but those two things are gonna make using this a whole lot easier. So let's also just pop into the BSPWMRC real quick and see what this looks like. Oh shit, okay, cool. So this is uh, just a shell script, which makes a lot of sense from what I've seen now. Uh, I was unaware that the RC here was literally just a shell script, but there's a few things it is setting up for us. It's setting up the tags on our windows. By default, it does set a window gap, which is kind of cool, I'll up it a little bit. And uh, I'll turn the borders off for the windows. That looks good. And then what we need to do is auto start some apps, which because this is a shell script is super easy. Just so we have an example, I'll go ahead and open Open up my config for awesome here so that we can see what I have automatically starting up. This is sort of my auto start for awesome. So what we could do in here is uh, sort of just copy over uh, all the things that are gonna be necessary. So PyCom, strictly speaking, not necessary, but that's gonna be helpful. Uh, we're gonna do uh, PyCom ampersand, just because this is a shell script, we have to add that ampersand to tell it to go ahead and launch the next thing. And then I'll also have it run Fay as well. And then all we need to do is link to Polybar, which admittedly is a little bit weird, but hopefully what we should be able to do is I'm going to, in the description, leave a link to somebody else's config that I happen to find that was pretty handy to this loop that somebody set up, or if else statement, not really a loop, that is basically meant to launch Polybar on all of the monitors that are running on your system at the moment. Uh, we just need to actually slightly rename the location of the um, scripts there, just to make sure that we know what's going on. And then I don't know if we're like necessarily just super ready to go ahead and launch, but I'm ready to jump over there and see what happens. So final step, one more little thing here. We're gonna go into the X in it RC. If I have one on my system, I don't. Uh, so you're gonna touch, create a new file called X in it RC. Inside of that, what you should need to put is exec bspwm. Uh, and then whenever you get out to the TTY, whenever you exit your window manager, whatever, you would just run like start X to um, start BSPWM. So let's see if it works. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is just as BSPWM launched, the way that I set it up, didn't touch anything, just came over to the second screen and opened up OBS. Uh, so uh, assuming we set up everything correctly, uh, super enter uh, should open up a terminal, which good. Uh, this is Alacrity here, or well, no, this is actually Kitty here. If we open up uh, another window, you can see it actually does automatically do a lot of the tiling for us. It uses this sort of spirally layout by default. Uh, super W is uh, the control to close by default. We can probably go ahead and try to change that. So let's go into the config for BSPWM, BSPWMRC. No, 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 already got stumped. Uh, you wanna go into the config for SXHKD and that's where we change the keyboard shortcuts. So super W is what we're using to close and kill. So maybe if we change that to Q. Just real quick, I'll search for Q and see if that's anywhere else in this config. It is not, okay. And then super escape should reload our key binding. So if we go ahead and try to open up a new window and then super Q, 
Boom, that's closing it now. I was trying to think of a change I could make to the BS, the actual BSPWM config to try and reload that and see how smoothly that goes because that's it's always one of the things that I like about window manager. Some of them, you know, DWM, for example, you have to rebuild and reload in order for changes to take place. And that's not as complicated as it sounds. You actually can still have applications open. I can do a screen recording, rebuilding the app and reloading into that new build multiple times throughout the situation. It's not as complicated as it is, but I always just like to see how smoothly that goes. So let's go into the BSP WMRC. Um, I'll maybe let's up the gaps to like 40 just something kind of stupid for the video. And uh, then we can do, I already forgot the keyboard shortcut. So let's go back into the SXHK, ah, SXHKDRC. And it is Super Alt R should reload. So let's give that a shot. Super Alt R. And yeah, that worked. D menu is working. So is a uh, good old nitrogen here. But if I want to set a new wallpaper real quick, I guess go back to the old wallpaper. That is not a difficult thing to do. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I am uh, really into BSPWM. There will certainly be more videos about this. Uh, I really haven't done much with it at all. I just wanted to get it set up. Uh, and like I said, this is a super minimal window manager. So there's a lot more that goes into it, getting it set up and working than your typical window manager setup. So uh, if you have any things you want to see along these lines, feel free to drop it in the comments. May or may not get to it by the end of December, but certainly we'll, we'll talk about it at some point. Uh, but that is going to be it for this video. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you in the next one.